bless everybody out here today. Uh, we're born again Christians. We're out here preaching the gospel. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes him should not perish but have everlasting life. Uh, we want you to know God, to have a relationship with God. We want you to know Jesus Christ. He is God. He's God manifested in the flesh. A lot of people say, uh, if God's real, why doesn't he come down here? Well, he already did, and that was 2,000 years ago when Jesus Christ came. He lived a perfect and sinless life. He was born of a virgin. He fulfilled dozens of Old Testament prophecies. And then he died on a cross. He died a criminal's death that we deserve for our sins. And he paid an awful price so that we could be forgiven for those sins. So that we could receive eternal life and forgiveness. Uh, but let me tell you this. Uh, being a fan of Jesus does not get you into heaven. A lot of people today, they're fans of Jesus, yet they're not saved. Jesus said in John chapter 3, it's the most important chapter in the Bible, that unless a man is born again, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Uh, being a fan of Jesus, you know, Jordan Peterson's a fan of Jesus, but he's not saved. Andrew Tate, he's a fan of Jesus, yet none of these people are saved and going to heaven. You have to be born again. You have to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Jesus said, why do you call me Lord, Lord, and not do the things that I tell you to do? Uh, going to church on Christmas and Easter does not get you into heaven. You have to receive the Holy Spirit. Um, how do you receive that? It's by faith. Putting your faith in the finished work of Jesus Christ, what he did on the, on the cross. And Romans 8, 9 says, if any man has not the Spirit of Christ, he is none of his. Uh, feeding the homeless, uh, doing good things. Yeah, those are good, but none of those things can save us. The scripture says that our own righteous deeds are like filthy rags before uh, God. Uh, the difference between Christianity and religion is every religion is men trying to do different things to try to earn their way to heaven or to try to earn their way into a better afterlife or try to earn favor with God. But you see, the Bible says the complete opposite. The Bible says that uh, while we're yet sinners, Christ died for us. And that's the love of God. The love of God is that God sent Jesus Christ to die for us on the cross because we can't save ourselves. Um... We can't save ourselves because our own righteous deeds are like filthy rags. It's if you have a righteous judge and a criminal committed a bunch of crimes, that criminal cannot get off of death row just because he did some good things. And it's the same thing with us. And I used to think before I was a Christian, as long as I don't murder anyone, as long as I don't kidnap people, as long as I uh, am not a cartel member, that I wouldn't end up in hell. Hell's just for really bad people. Yet I didn't see how bad I was in the sight of God because I just compared myself to others instead of comparing myself to God. And we've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. You don't have to be a murderer or a drug kingpin or a human trafficker to end up in hell. Jesus actually said if you hate your brother without a cause, you've committed murder in your heart. Uh, you don't have to actually cheat on your spouse to commit adultery. Jesus said if you look upon a woman with lust, you commit adultery in your heart. Uh, you see, God is holy and just. And because of that, he has to punish sin. But because God is love, not only is God the law giver, he's also the law keeper. And Jesus Christ, he is the way, the truth, and the life. And we're all going to stand before him after we die. We're not going to stand before Buddha. I used to be a Buddhist. My family's Buddhist. They built a Buddhist temple in Stockton, California. But I had to turn away from that false religion once God showed me the truth. I used to be an atheist. I used to smoke pot every day. I got into the new age, I tried opening the third, my third eye, all these different things that many people are getting into once they start getting into drugs, uh, witchcraft and sorcery and the law of attraction and crystals and meditation, astrology. I did all that garbage. Uh, but let me tell you that, it didn't open me up to the truth, it just opened me up to demons. I started uh, hearing voices in my head, I started getting schizophrenic because I did these things that the Bible for, uh, forbids. And that's the way that God works, he doesn't forbid things. Uh, because he hates you, it's because he actually loves you, and he's trying to protect you from evil spirits. He's trying to protect you uh, from getting a curse placed on your life by falling into sin. Uh, and Jesus Christ, he became a curse for us by hanging on the cross so that we could be set free from sin and death. Uh, Jesus Christ, uh, he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. We're going to stand before him after we die. You didn't come from a monkey. You didn't come from evolution. You didn't come from a big bang. You came... Uh, well, first from your parents, but ultimately we all came from God. Uh, God is uh, the creator. Uh, we didn't come from Buddha. We didn't come from Allah or a thousand of the different Hindu's gods. No, those gods are really demons. We, the real God is the God of the Bible. That's the God we're all accountable to after we die. Uh, we're going to meet him one day, and he loves you. And uh, that's why he sent Jesus Christ to pay the price that we deserve for our sins.
want you to have a relationship with Jesus. We want you to be saved. We want you to go into heaven. Uh, the Bible says that eye has not seen, now his ear heard uh, the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But the Spirit of God reveals this to him. And there's only two places we can go after we die. You're not going to reincarnate into a tree. You're not going to reincarnate into a bush or a flower. Once we die, we get judged. But if you're in Christ, the judgment already fell on Jesus on the cross so that you don't have to pay for your own sins. Because if you deny Christ, if you reject his uh, free gift of salvation, you have to pay for your own sins in eternity, which nobody wants to do. Uh, you know, a lot of people say, well, hell's going to be a party. You know, I'm going to party with all my friends in hell. And hell, hell is not no party. Uh, try lighting yourself on fire and seeing how much fun that is. So don't fool yourself. You don't want to end up there. It's real. You might say, well, preacher, why should I believe the Bible? That's just a book. But the Bible is the only book that predicts the future with perfect accuracy. God bless you. Thank you. With the Bible, you have the Old Testament. You have the New Testament. The Old Testament is just the Hebrew Bible. It talks about the Messiah uh, that was to come. And Jesus Christ, he fulfilled dozens and all of these prophecies. And you might say, well, how do you know Christians didn't just come up with that? Well, you see, the Old Testament was translated into Greek. It's called the Septuagint text 250 years before That's Jesus Christ ever walked on the earth. And it says that the Messiah would be born in Bethlehem. It says he'd be born of a virgin. He would, uh, God bless you. He would be buried in a rich man's tomb. He would pour out his soul as an offering for sin. And he would rise again from the dead. If we're being honest, the only person that fits that description in human history is Jesus Christ. Then you have the New Testament, which is a hand, uh, handful of credible eyewitnesses that died for not what somebody told them, but for what they seen. They ate, they sat, they touched the risen Christ. They saw him ascend into heaven. And people don't die for a lie. Um, knowingly, you see, when Muslims blow themselves up, what they what they're dying for, they actually believe to be true. Yet they're going off of an account by somebody else. Yet the difference with biblical Christianity is the apostles they die for what they actually saw with their own eyes. They knew that Jesus Christ was crucified. Everyone knew uh, in the city of Jerusalem that there is this person, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who claimed to be the Son of God, and he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, and he rose again from the dead. 500 eyewitnesses saw him at one time. There's more evidence on the Bible than any other ancient manuscript. You know, many people don't question uh, the writings of Plato's or Socrates or Aristotle, yet there's only, uh, there's very few manuscripts on those uh, original writings. Yet the New Testament has 24,000 original manuscripts that you can find, ancient manuscripts. Uh, so don't bet your soul against the Bible.